Hi, welcome to our time of devotion. I am Reverend Barbara McPhee, and I'm glad that you could be here today. Our call to worship this morning. Sing to God a new song. The faithful love of God fills the earth. By the word of God, the heavens were made. By the breath of God's mouth, the stars formed. The faithful love of God fills the earth. God collects the waters of the sea like a dam. God stores away the abyss in the divine treasure house. The faithful love of God fills the earth. Let the whole earth honor God. Let all who dwell in the world revere the Holy One. The faithful love of God fills the earth. The moment God spoke, the earth came to be. No sooner had God commanded than there it stood. The faithful love of God fills the earth. Our scripture today comes from Matthew chapter 10, verse 1, and chapter 17, verse 14 through 20. Jesus called his 12 disciples to him and gave them authority to drive out impure spirits and to heal every disease and every sickness. When they came to the crowd, a man approached Jesus and knelt before him. Lord, have mercy on my son. He has seizures and is suffering greatly. He often falls into the fire or into the water. I brought him to your disciples, but they could not heal him. Jesus said to the disciples, you unbelieving and perverse generation, how long shall I stay with you? How long shall I put up with you? Bring the boy here to me. Jesus rebuked the demon, and it came out of the boy, and the boy was healed at that moment. Then the disciples came to Jesus in private and asked, why couldn't we drive it out? He replied, because you have so little faith. Truly, I tell you, if you have faith as small as mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move, nothing will be impossible for you. In Matthew 10, we read about the power that Jesus gave his disciples to cast out demons, raise the dead and heal the sick. The disciples were able to do this many times until we see them in Matthew 17, where they failed to cast that demon out of the young boy. After Jesus did what they could not, they came to him privately to ask why. And Jesus said to them, because you have so little faith. Truly, I tell you, if you have the faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move nothing. Nothing will be impossible for you. When I think about moving mountains, I think that the mountains I have to move are those within me that block me from moving other bigger mountains. In reading the story of the mustard seed in Matthew, it seems to me that the first mountain the disciples have to move is the one that inhibits their faith. Jesus tells the disciples that they could not heal the boy because their faith prevented them from doing so. If you have faith, you can move mountains. There's such an empowering, this is such an empowering verse because of its encouragement. We too have to move that mountain that is blocking our faith. We have to do that first before we can hope to move any other mountain. Growing in our relationship with our Lord enables us to trust to love and to believe that our faith is enough to move mountains, even those that seem immovable. Other mountains that I believe we have to move are those that prevent us from loving and forgiving one another as God loves and forgives us. Imagine if everyone was willing to move those mountains, how beautiful and healthy the world would be. Moving mountains like that from our lives enables us to help others move their mountains the same way through faith that comes from loving, trusting, and believing in the Lord. If we believe in the Lord, nothing 
we have been given to do will be impossible for us. Nothing Jesus has given us to do will be impossible because we have faith that Jesus is working in us. Our meditation for today, the faithful love of God fills the earth. So feet flat on the floor, hands in your lap or on a table. Relax, take a deep breath in and out. The faithful love of God fills the earth. 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 faithful love of God fills the earth. Let us pray. Dear God, we thank you. We thank you for the many ways you bless us. We thank you for scripture that teaches us how to live and how to give, how to love, teaches us about faith, teaches us how to move mountains, how to care for one another, how to love one another. Dear God, we come to you today with our joy. We are joyful that we live in such a good community. We are joyful that we have relationships. We are joyful, Lord, that you, that you call us together as a, as, a, as a church, as a community. You call us together as friends, as family. You call us together in different groups. And we are so thankful of that. Dear God, we are, th we are thankful for your healing mercies, for people that we know that have gotten better, for Chrissy who is improving after her stroke, for people who are survivors of breast cancer or other cancers that we know. We, Lord, come to you also with our, our hurt and our sadness. We are, are sad, many of, of us who, um, who just recently found out that our brother in Christ and our friend John passed away. We are sad um, over other people that whom we have heard about who are suffering from injuries or suffering from sickness. We pray, God, your healing mercies on them. Oh God, we pray for your mercies on all of us. Help us to be better people. Help us to learn how to care for one another. We pray for all of those who are in hospital or care facilities, nursing homes, animal clinics, animal hospitals. We pray, Lord God, your healing mercies. For all caregivers, God, we pray your strength and your peace be with them. Oh God, for all, for all who are dying, for all who have lost loved ones, we pray your healing mercies. God, we pray your healing mercies for all who have been abused, for all who have anger management issues, for all who have obsessions, for all who have compulsions, for all 
for all who have addictions. We pray your healing mercies. We pray, dear God, for our country. We pray for the world. We pray for peace. And we pray for all those places where there is not peace. Lord God, help us. Help us to move mountains. And we know that the mountain we have to move is the one blocking our faith, the one blocking us from loving and for, for caring and forgiving the, the way the, the, the way that we need to, the way that you show us. Help us, please. We pray for traveling mercies, Lord, for all who travel. And we pray now the prayer that you have taught us to pray, saying, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Our thought for the week, as long as we have unsolved problems, unfulfilled desires, and a mustard seed of faith, we have all we need for a vibrant prayer life. That's from John Ortberg. And our benediction the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen.